Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Fall of Porcupine, which, from what I have gleaned, is kind of a, a depressing look at, at the healthcare system. I would assume in America, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but according, according to the Twitch tags, which is the primary reason I'm playing this, it is a puzzle game. And I do love puzzle games. So hopefully that is true. Um, if not, well, it looks cute regardless. So I'm excited to get into it. So let's check it out. Get, make sure we got subtitles on. Oh, we love accessibility. Uh, I don't think I need dyslexia mode. Text size. Nah, let's leave all that stuff off. Um, no. Eh. All right, new game. Let's go. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Oh, so this is going to be mad depressing. Cool. All right. Got it. That's great. Here I was thinking, oh, this it might be like a little depressing, but it should still be like a cute little fun game. No, it's we're giving you a warning once. It's fucking depressing. Cool. Oh. oh no. Uh huh. Bye. Oh, yep, I I do move. Okay. Gonna just gonna go to the right. Oh, sunlight gets brighter. Oh, there we go. You can see me now. I'm a little bored. Hey Finley, nice to see you at last. Is Finley dead? Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I wasn't expecting to run into my house plane here. <laughs> That's fair. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. No, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. Think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. There's, there's no music playing. Um, <laughs> how can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. There we go. Better? Yeah, it's... Like... Soothing. And, like, kind of... Hawaiian-y. I don't know what you call that. Like, aloha music. Yes, I like this. Ulamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes. Yes, I should do that. This this bird is 100% dead. <laughs> like this, this is absolutely the afterlife. <laughs> I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. 
I'm gonna have a little look around. So beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. Choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Fenno. Okie dokie. I am. I am gonna. I'm gonna find a good spot. Give me a little run. Oh my God! All right. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. Oh yeah, I I, I am of the opinion that that he is dead, <laughs> based on the beginning of the. You might have missed like the opening like warning that this game is fucking depressing. <laughs> And there was like car crash noises and we started on a black screen. I think he's dead. <laughs> we meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Um, it's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? I'll do that one. What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time, am I right? So what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got aphids. That's... Okay. Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? Uh, but I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. Oh, rumbling is happening. See? No problem at all. Okay. No problem? The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break off any of his leaves. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? Alright. Uh, B? Oh, B is jump. Cool. Hey. Here we go. Jump on you? No. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Okay. Controls are a wee bit wonky. Gotta get used to them though, and we'll be fine. Oh, well, let me on that one. There we go. Oh, I can't get on that one. Oh. Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. So I can't. Bloop. Oh. I didn't even notice there's water over there. Okay. Uh. Do I need to breathe? Guess not. You made it after all. You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. Water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. I don't like water. Do you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. The flower thing. Actually, maybe we could get out of here? Alright, alright. Okie dokie. 
What's this? Oh. Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. Are you Stephanie Tanner? How rude. Oh, okay. I just had to go all the way to the right. made it. Finmeister, there you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears? When you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in? Nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. Forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Tina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, Fonley, Dingley, Dongley. It's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. Sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Valid. I spent like two maybe two-ish hours outside on a cloudy day recently and got sunburned, so I am very pale. Oh, oh, eh. Eh. Oh. Oh. I guess I can't do anything with this stuff. Okay, the bouncy castle. Why don't you let me in? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't gonna be up here, too? Oh. Is that a dragon? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Arndez is? Mr. Arndez. I was looking for Mr. Arndez. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared. I was taking the elevator. And something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndez. Otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndez. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. Did the elevator crash? What is happening? Oh, that doesn't... doesn't point to good signs. <laughs> okay. Mr. Arndez has to be here somewhere. Hello? Mr. Arndez, can you hear me? Can't go that way. Uh, nope. stairs here. Oh. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Will you jump? Here. Hmm. Lots of boxes. Oh. Oh, can't go in there. No. 
Oh. Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. That almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. There's someone back there. Mr. Arndez, is that you? Oh, there's, there's, there's stuff on the floor. That's blood. It's still fresh. Is this a horror game? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Mr. Arndez, you're bleeding. Don't move. Ugh, what? Who, who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help you. What's this? Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Big yikes for me. Oh, that's not a good noise. Oh, is that my alarm clock? I was having a bad dream. Oh, why is the noise still going off? Okay, thank you. Mia? Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Okay. No tasks. No notes. Okay, I don't want help yet. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job too, but I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Carl? Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on the first day after doc talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. He's been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There, I met some new people from Porcupine. I met Pina on my way to work. She's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine, and she's my first real contact here. Today, I entered a hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee con consumption. Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski is my senior resident. She heads internal medicine one on the third floor, and I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared of her. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands on me. I try to live up to her standards, but I don't always succeed. Okay, got it. Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. It seems like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Was it a dream? Wake up from Finley's nightmare. Okay, he's not dead. It was just a dream. False alarm. False alarm. There's my flower. <clears throat> there you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. Sorry right, for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there will be trouble. Oh, TV? I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Bad chance. I haven't touched a thing since I moved in. Ugh. Oh, I got dressed. That was cute. Got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. Bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. Do you need glasses? I guess so. Such a cute loading screen.
All right, which way is, which way is my house? Not my house, my job. Oh, what are you? Some people have a bakery within walking distance. Or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. If you say so. I don't I don't know if I'm even supposed to be going this way. I guess so. Oh. Okay. Gross. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camp chair. Your readers. Time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny, I call it chaos. Order, life. And you, and you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Hmm, looks like this is already reserved. Can I, can I go in the water? Nope, damn it. Maybe I can jump? Damn it. I'm gonna go swimming. Oh, I can see that. What's this? Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis. Somebody watches too many horror movies. Up, up, up. Thank you. Hey. Here we go. Kind of nice watching the trains chug off chug off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling by myself. Wee. Oh, I can't go any further. Damn it. I have to get Pam to repair the bus. Stardew, Stardew Valley reference, everyone. I'm really digging the soundtrack so far. Hmm. Who are you? Are you my friend? Oh, well, let me talk to him. Friend? Be my friend? Fine, don't be my friend. See if I care. Hmm? Bike? Bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. And I can talk to the mail carrier dog. Sure can. Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. And sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping, too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. True. Oh, now I know Susie. Only mail, car mail carrier and porcu porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. Get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. I mean, she is a, well, looks to be a golden retriever, so that tracks. There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking is the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. 
it's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that Pina's store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. Old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses, town hall, the town fountain. And Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Good. Perfecto. I'm gonna go down. Hey, kid. Road's still closed. Just kidding, I'm not going down. Can't let you through here. Why is the road closed? Construction work today. We're building here. Stones, wood, steel, cement. Ah, I see. So that's what building is? Yep, someone like you wouldn't understand. Okay. You trying to insult me, buddy? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Watch out. I'm not standing here because I love dust and drills. And I won't let newcomers like you give me sass from the sidewalk. Alright, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I should hope not. The guy on the poster looks nothing like me. Yeah, you're right. Who'd confuse you with that guy? Only someone who needed their eyes tested. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I know I can just go back. It's okay, I'll look for another way. Yeah, you do that. Bro, that looks just like you. Whatever. You can't fool me. Making my way downtown. Quite quite a few loading screens in this game. <laughs> Cute though. That also could just be because it's the Switch version. Oh. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've seen you. I've never seen you before. Yes, actually. I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. Yeah, I can fucking tell. Seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Alright, Adele. Graceful, elegant, eccentric. I met her this morning at the market. She seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never much cared for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Alrighty. Can I talk to this turtle? That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Gilbert? Good morning. Nope. <laughs> Chiliano? Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be all right, yeah. I'm sure you will. If you want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink, just come by any time, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. I might just take you up on that. Giuliano. I like good old Giuliano a lot. He owns Gilbert's, the only bar in Porcupine. It's been there once. I've been there once or twice and had a reasonably good time. Giuliano once got into an argument with someone called Ralph, but I guess that's to be expected. For some reason, I can't scroll down, so. <laughs> Alright. Well. I 
guess he's a little hot-headed. Oh, there's a statue for my dream. That's the Big Town Fountain. Statue of Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Keep on moseying. I hope I don't, like, get in trouble for being late. I'm just exploring. Ooh, is that an Airstream? God, Airstreams are so fucking cool. This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. Locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? All right, well, that's a camper, first of all. Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Jesus. Maybe even Ted dead bodies. Is there a super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets. Finley might be a little bit weird. Just gonna go out on a limb there. Oh, cute. Sorry, hang on. My cat is doing something nefarious. I'll be right back. Okay, he was trying to climb the railing. I was like, that noise does not sound particularly good. What is this cursor on the screen? I would like for it to not be there. Oh, guess I can't have it not be there. There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. That is unfortunate. 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. Oh, sounds like something I would do. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. Can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. There we go. St. Ursula's Hospital. We squeal, we heal. Hee <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Oh, it's fair. The statue's out here every day. Where, where would it fucking go? From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine. It's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, the guy can dream. Sounds fake to me. What does it? this hospital isn't huge still you can get lost here from time to time it's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table that's why you should always pay attention to the signs kids or you could just like let them operate and sue them for malpractice and get a lot of money don't do that <laughs> don't do that by the way 
Okay. Ooh. Vending machine. Good old vending machine. Handy source of breakfast. Or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a choco dog right now. Chalk dog. Both sound gross. Every morning, they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing ever since... Doing since I, before I was like, even born. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll all of us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. We've got a long way to go, vending machine. Oh. This dude's got some crazy internal dialogue. Oh, she's a hippo! Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury's healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? <laughs> All right, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. Thought it through several times and it makes all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? Term is... Klutz. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Andes? Old Duffer's still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Phew, okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people now know... People know you now. You're the boy who survived. Very funny. Hee <laughs> hee. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt on over to your ward. On the third floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then, before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. You're right, I'll get going. Am I kicking a ball along? Hmm. Where can I take this? Oh my god, that was a pelican. Oh damn it. Why did he keep kicking the ball? Oh, I left. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I guess I'm gonna work. Fine. Fuck yeah, I'll use the elevator. Not like I can fly in here. We go this way or nope. Oh god, what the hell are you? Not like a cheetah or something. That looks really creepy as I was walking by. Ta-da! The cow. Ah, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. That wasn't late at all. I'm early? Really? Of course you're not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come? Yes, I'm sorry. I. Bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. Not too much trouble. We'll start our rounds in room 301. Yes, ma'am.
So here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. 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 She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, yes? Ulcer? Stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. Guess I can't go in first. <gasps> it's a piggy. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Dr. Ski. Good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right. Careful. Oh, coughing. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at the school with others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good. But what were you doing? What were you all doing down at school? Ah, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. Part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. Wait, in this world... Okay, they're all animals, right? So, like... Is that, like, kind of, like, racist to say? I didn't want to be a chicken. Why? Why don't you want to be a chicken? What's wrong with chickens, bud? Huh? Huh? Explain that. Explain that to me, you pig fuck. I'm still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know, Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Orski. Yee -hee. Asthma. Could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Andre Arndez. I assume the name rings a bell? 
Mr. Arndez, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndez is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Oakley dokley. I like want to lead the way, but I also I don't. I'm not sure if that was like a P or what letter that was. Oh, P is probably permanent. That makes sense. It was P33. Okay, cool. I get it now. We're good. Yeah. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Rondez. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hydrick. To what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Arndos, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. That's fucking gross. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Hydrick. It's great to have you back, truly. I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this, for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndes to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there, around the clock. Rest will also help his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you also do- would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndes' condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange a transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Okay, bye. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck, here's to a successful day. Awkward, clearly part of the management. <laughs> yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Andrew Arndez. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then go ahead. Finley? Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndez's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndez if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm? Do I know you? Yes. Maybe? There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. Can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndez? Finley, what are you doing? You want me to bring some you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndez. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to Okay. Oh. 
patient is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Oh, this will go well. I've been playing not Switch games for weeks. <laughs> uh, down. No fuck. Am I supposed to be doing something else? What? Jesus. Look at that. Dressing may be rather average. And I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Miss Krakowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your task for today's shift. Oakley dokely. can't get over that chicken thing. That was kind of fucked up the more I think about it. <laughs> I can't believe they left that line there and, like, did not think of the implications. Here you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yes, yeah, all good. I'm good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for dig digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> but Hydric and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. I agree with both of them. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Crowds play, really. Any questions? Oh, excuse me. Any, tr any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Ma'am. In the same hill. Um, okay. Oh, does the financial stuff. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today and seems worried about me and Mr. Arndes. Worried that you're probably going to sue the hospital, maybe. Okay, 301 needs medicine. Not that one. The other one. Kitty? Is that a kitty? Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have a bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, the stomach ulcer's no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. And my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Hmm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. 
Last night's test show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. Alright, let's see then. Okay, prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patients reading to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Okay, should be interesting. That's all I want it. Oh, I see, I see. I can give her up to three pills. Okay, so I definitely need... That one. This one? Yes. Woohoo, I got an A. Love giving an A. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you, and good night. Ooh. Okay, gotta check in. I swear this bird is a- this fucking patient is a different color every time I walk by. It's fucking weird. I can't go back in there to show you either. Okay, 303. Fucking Larissa. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, Doc. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry. It's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Hmm... Yes, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Press the button shown on the screen at the right moment. Hold L when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Okay. Oof, I barely got a B on that one. It really was only cold for a second. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? No, don't worry. I j didn't even see what the other <laughs> thing was. I know the attack was probably scary, but you're feeling a lot better now, aren't you? Yes. We'll keep you here for a little while. Once we're absolutely sure what's up with you, then you can go home. Agreed? Yes, of course. Do I have, it do I have to do anything about it? Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you to again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Cool. Good morning, Miss Helmig. You've just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm 
very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. It's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've had just had surgery. But on once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings. And, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, this is so difficult. Hold on. What? God. How many fingers do you think I have? That one's hard. <laughs> Looking good so far. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, do I have any more tasks? Here's not. All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Solid B. All right. Everything seems in order here. Perhaps the knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay. I have another task for you. Giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you, you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? This is like workplace harassment. I was injured by a patient, and you're making fun of me for it. As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Halil. Got it. Take the stairs this time. Okay, down we go. Man, I guess I can't go to floor two. The lab? No, this is floor zero. This is. Oh. Oh. This must be like European based. Never seen a floor zero before. I should have known from the fact that there's public transit that you can actually, like, rely on. Hmm. There we go. Hospital archives. No one knows what treasures- no one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper, if the smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Okay, that is not the lab. No, I, um, okay. <laughs> There's 
Is this the lab? Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? The what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. Red light usually means something like very busy, prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Oh, ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? Fucking dickhead. <laughs> okay. Of course the mole works underground. Alright, here I am. Whoa! What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you? Fascinating. And? And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. Great. Follow, 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 follow. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? Day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. Cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now, you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Bro. Are you for real? <laughs> oh no! Oh, horror! What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. The whole system. I... Let me just put things right, and... It'll be alright again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor. That's my sorting system. Hee <laughs> hee. Looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn all the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single, single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. Now I got it. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. Is Eleanor to rotate? Glass is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with the segments of the adjacent bottles. Form square. Use A and B to move flask that fell out. Okie dokie. So. Oh. No. Okay. Also blue. That's pink. Okay, did that one on accident. Uh, green, some pink, red, 
orange, red, pink. Okay. So that one needs red, red, yellow, green, and blue. Oh no wait, the red and yellow need to be next to each other. Hold on. Hey, okay. And then that one needs green and yellow. Show me options. Perfect. That one needs green and red right next to each other. So that's this one. Which means this one. Here. Et voila! So smart. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I had better get back to my work. Um, Dr. Halil? Was there something else to your doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right, right, Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. I just fixed your fuck up. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Yeah, sure, bud. Okay, so I have that. His blood. Blood samples. The test results, I guess. Okay. Beans. Here are your blood results, Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here, tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your treatments as you showed today. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. Bro, I worked for like half an hour. <laughs> Fucking wish that was me. Okay, I'm taking the elevator because I want to. Just kidding. I don't want to go through a loading screen again just to take the elevator. <laughs> Which would then be another loading screen. Nope, gotta go to floor zero. Gotta go out the doors. All right, see you later. I'm going home, Ingrid. Make like $12, maybe, for that shift. Cool. Oh god, it is nighttime. They don't have lights at this fucking hospital? bear statue. Good thing I read all this shit on my way in. So I don't have to do it on my way back. Ooh. 
Oh, can I talk to that person? I can. This evening, isn't it lovely? Warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. Golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. That was nice. Oh. Feel the need to say something profound. I think I'll resist the urge, though. Very valid. I hope you guys can hear the little bitter patter of his feet because it's cute. <laughs> cute little sound effect. Oh, is that bulldog? What do you want, Pipsqueak? Okay. Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Hey, I know you. One of the little busybodies pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that for me. Okay, I don't know who Carl is, but sure. You can hear voices coming from Gilbert's. Juliana's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left, right, and center. And I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Right now I need sleep. Okay. Gonna just walking home. Not much, much else to do. Oh wait, was there something for me to look at there? So clear, you can see the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. Wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. Nighttime. Was I supposed to read that during the day? Oh, we're so close. Can't wait to just flop into bed. No, I do want to go to bed. Good night, world. Oh, that's cute. Go. Oh, no, oh, good. More. Ning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. Can do anything. I'm on top of the world. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take a band-aid off without, hurt without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. You. Mm. That must be like my bathroom or something. I always try to go through that door to leave, and it's not, not how you leap. Lovers. What's up, bud? Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend? Fair thing. Here you go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work different schedules. But put it this way, if you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. 
You have a productive day now. What the fuck are you talking about? What's your name? Who are you? Alfio. Morning, Alfio is sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Oh, that's too bad. Oh my god, is the bus working? Yo! You live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry. I've never even eaten yogurt. Be glad. I'm on the warpath. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can. Stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. Ooh, that's gotta stink. So I'm trying to get trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck and all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head now I need to get a bus home and take a shower I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and vanilla smell otherwise so is the bus running again? yeah I took it to work earlier not the world's greatest cyclist so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus do you know when the bus is coming? any moment now I think where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital Oh, you're one of those folks. Garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Flip disc. Hmm, Gautera. I haven't been there long. Right, anyway, Dr. Gautera's a good guy. Showed me some exercises. Been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Matteo says hi. Will do. You taking the bus too? Yes. All right. Look, here it comes. Thank God. I did not want to go through all those loading screens again just to walk all the way to work. Imagine if we had IRL loading screens. That would fucking suck. Woohoo! Yippee! Made it to work. Hopefully on time. And wardrobe change. Bye, Ingrid. Bye, Ingrid. Oh. Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks, you too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. Well then, I really hope you have a quiet one today. See you later, Mia. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Thirty-one. Oh my god, is that like an old turtle lady? Got her hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, not that one. Hey, Giuliano. What are you doing here? Finley, my friend. Brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we better get a specialist to check her out. 
All right, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh, yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. We wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. Not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. Ooh, that does sound good. And a nice, strong black coffee. Nope, miss me on that one. It needs to be, like, almost milk-colored for me to drink it. Thanks, Giuliano. I think that'll do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm gonna head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying, you should be worrying about that old pub of ours. I'll call you later. I'd like that. Good morning, Mrs. DeCalma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son, Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall, can you smell it too? Yes, me too. Trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of the beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I had just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. I made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story. But maybe that can wait for another day. I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get a hold of my French toast. Just sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. I think she was supposed to say that line, but... Okay. And the correct combination of symbols. A blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol, but in the wrong position. Green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. Oh, so this is like Wordle. In addition to this, symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. Right. That's what you just... Okay. Each symbol will only appear once per combination. You have eight attempts to find the correct combination. Okay. It's been, it's been a while since I've played Wordle, so... Oh... There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. That one's correct. Two of these are correct, but in the wrong position. This one's just not right at all. This one's hand, because hand was right. Yep, yeah. Hmm, I see. What do you see? Symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. I, I swear to God. I swear to God. Those other patients are changing colors. Oh, Finley. 
You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. I'll take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Then I guess we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. Okay. Bear guy, good for him. Real one. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night again, worrying. I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Okay. Need to... That's the best I can do. I can't. Yeah, there's only one lower. Well. Now I'll try that. Gotta be. Oh, what was I supposed to do? So, you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get the stomach ul ulcer under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. It's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. Known it for a long time. But now I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, Doctor. Okay, that time it did, the other patient didn't change. Okay, black and white cat. Awake. Larissa, how are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Just bored to death. Could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in a hospital. Ain't that the truth. How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure. You need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now. That's plenty. All right, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just going to listen to my lungs, right? Or are you going to cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, just a turn of phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs, don't worry. Phew. Oops, too early. Still got an A, though. Made out better than yesterday. Hmm. What is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day. We can do it. Yeah, hee <laughs> hee. Bye, Shauna. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, Doc. What you got for me? I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. I can see that. Alright then, let's see what you got for me. Yay! Smiley face! Everything looks fine so far. Stay focused and don't get distracted while you work, okay? Okay. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient... What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mrs. DeCalma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment but don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalma is nice. Personal consideration should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mrs. DeCalma as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, Mia. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Are you eating today? I'm so hungry. No, now you mention it. Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's why what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yes. Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? He must hate you at the library. Finley. All right, all right. To the cafeteria. Elevator squad! Okay, where's the cafeteria at? Oh, right here. a llama. Hmm, what should I get? Hey, Lisa. Mia, hey, are you on a break? Who's this you brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I guess you're on internal medicine, too? I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. I can't decide what to eat. Don't see anything you like the look of? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. Sergey's an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'd fit right in at the surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. 
All right, thanks. What can I get you, kid? Hmm, what have you got? Art. The finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a wild journey. Now, I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Ooh. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. Mmm. Gourmet delight. So go on. What'll it be? What would you like, Mia? Hmm. I don't care. You pick something. I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay. I would like... Ooh. Sea salt muesli. I'm gonna go with sesame sorbet. We're all out of that, sorry. My dishes are just too popular. Something else. Okay. I'll do the sea salt muesli. Are you are you out of everything except the pineapple wrap? I'm gonna try everything else. Yep. Yep, okay. Okay, I get it. Alright, I understand. That's why you mentioned it. King Christ. I just had to be sure. I had to be sure. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you're a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit to you both. Enjoy. How is it? The wrap? Um, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples, but I didn't want to complain, and I was so hungry I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? Both well, started here just a few weeks ago, and I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. That's what my parents always say. True, somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I think I like the St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's been... She's really been eating me alive, too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. Need to work on that. Yeah. Everything okay? You don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Sergei's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heydrich. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can. To fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. Why is he talking to us from off screen? That's how it's always been and how it always will be. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart that information to you personally. Especially since some of you have had a difficult start here. Okay. I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Arndes. You're new and mistakes happen. And I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So much, so much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we have, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country, where he will hopefully recover quickly. Glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Hmm. You had an interesting way of going about it, sir. <laughs> Awkward. Alright, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? 
No, thank you. I sated my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals. And your work. Super awkward. <laughs> that was... interesting. You can say that again. Are you done? I definitely am now. Let's get back up to the ward then. Mr. Hydrick's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Oakley dokley. Who are you? This wrap tastes weird. Does it? How do you mean? I'm not sure. I love pineapples, but something's off. Hmm. You on medication right now? Yeah, a few different kinds, actually. But I'm afraid I can't remember the names. I see. Well, I'm not one to just blindly throw around diagnoses around. But it could be that the drugs are effect affecting your taste buds. Really? Yes, that can happen. Hmm, okay. Cool, good talk. Okay, can't go that way. I made friends with my roommate in the ward. Makes staying here so much more bearable. Roommate a bear? That would be funny. Oh no, wait. This way. Oh. And are you serious? You piece of trash. Hello? Who's that? Where's it coming from? The elevator, maybe? We should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Wah! Damn door stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? I need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor, the old fart? He's the reason I'm stuck here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. You want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. Just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler skulking around. Alright. Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan. Thanks. Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. That doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get the door open with the gauze bandages and IV fluids. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you've tried it? Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and be right back, okay? Hurry up, the walls are closing in on me. Am I going to get in trouble for helping him? Seems to be the way things go around here. Don't be helpful. Yeah, you're paid to be helpful. You must be Gregor. Gregor, there you are. What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. One flickering light or squeaky door and it's Gregor this. Help that. Mr. Glendower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? Okay.
Is it at this end of the hall? Yes. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. It's in here. Fiddle around here. That should do it. Okay, now. Oh no, everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. He's fucking dead. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> Sir Glendower, are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'll live. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment all the same. Baloney. You want to make an omelette, you gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. Still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, your elevator thing. Give me a moment, I'll need just a quick break. Then we'll take a look. Okay. Finally! I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. Should have known. Carl, it's you! I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh? What? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, that sweet, sweet scent. Thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in there. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. One of these days. You alright? What? Oh, right. Yeah, all good. Just short on time. I already had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It's stairs only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit, at least. Is there anything I can help you with? You could clone me. Take a second job as a nurse. Or buy a new elevator. All good options. Right? Alright, enough chit-chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack from somewhere before my next stop. You need to get back up to the ward. You know Krakowski by now. Steam's probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. But... What about the boxes? Guess he'll sort it out. Really should get back to the ward now. Mas... People? Gotta take the stairs, not taking the elevator after all that. Yeah. Going so slow.
Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? Took you quite a while. Who was it in the elevator? Carl. Ha, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Kowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break, though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off, then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that, I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want, it'll be fun. It's not a bad idea, I'll think about it. I can either... Probably have to choose, hang out with me or get drinks at Gilbertbush. Or whatever the hell it's called. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two, even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot in your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job. Like everybody else here does. Your treatments today were okay, but that doesn't mean you can clock off early. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was... I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. I mean, alright. Am I supposed to just leave somebody in the elevator? Fuck. Where can I go in this room? Sir, I'm a, can I still talk to her? Oh, sure. Did your day go okay? Yes, I'm about to head out. Can I get you anything else? No, no, I'm all good. I'll try to read a little longer, but it'll be an early night for me tonight. All right, then. See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. You will not, because I'm working a night shift. To make that clear. So can I leave then, I assume? Gotta go out the doors, I always forget. Hi, Ingrid. There you are. How's it looking? Are you going to come down to the sports court with me? want to get some exercise tonight. Yeah. Alright, come on then. Race you to the school sports court. If you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Oh no, is that Dr. Krakowski? She looks angry. What? Go! Oh, you bitch. Can't even run. The fuck? I'm like not even trying. <laughs> I'm like literally walking. I 
I don't think I could. I don't think there's like a sprint option in this game. Am I even going the right way? Okay. That was a no. Down here? Question mark? Yes. I'm assuming yes. Well, these these loading screens are brutal. <laughs> There's so many. Hey, girl. Hey. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm. What do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. University clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you. Nice. So you want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest, but I always got the baskets. Alrighty then, looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Uh, sure. Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. Brother, how is this mini game gonna work? Hold A to charge your throw, release A to throw, score a basket with the special ball to get three points. Whoever's the most points at the end is a winner. any points yet. Crushing it. Oops, that was bad. <laughs> Fucking spoke too soon. Oof. You really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. Last time I played basketball was at school. When I start a team in Porcupine, you have to join me. Ah, okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work, in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. Feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. Feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down at work. I want to make sure I always have some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. 
I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will. But that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. Sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Pump up the jam. All right, bedtime. Yeah, good night, world. That's so cute. Why is that so loud? <laughs> There's no reason for that to be as loud as it is. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. Meh. Should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise it'll end up lying around all week. Hope my lazy future self appreciates this. Okay, gamers. I think that's where I'm gonna call it for today. I'm I'm very intrigued by this game. It's it's more visual novel than I was anticipating, but the mini games are fun. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm playing it on Switch that it's got a bit of a load time issue, or it's just that's just how the game is. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll keep playing this. It I think it's not terribly long. Should finish it up in a couple couple streams but yeah i'll play this play more of this on thursday um and then back with god of war ragnarok on saturday and i will hopefully have this uploaded to youtube by tomorrow and we'll see where it takes us if i'm not if i'm not feeling it by the time we get through thursday stream maybe i'll play something else next week but we'll see i'll decide that on thursday but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh i hope you guys have a good night good day, good week, good weekend, good time overall. I just hope things are good. Hope you're having a good one. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.